We are recording. Hello everyone, I'm Paul Vanuck from Recording Magazine. In this video review, we're taking a look at the new Ara Professional 2-Pattern USB Condenser Microphone from AKG, which I also review in the December 2021 issue of Recording Magazine. As one of the oldest and most respected microphone manufacturers in existence, AKG needs no introduction, and there have been many legendary AKG models over the company's long history. In our April 2020 issue, we introduced the AKG Lyra Ultra HD Multimode USB Microphone. And today, we're taking a look at the latest USB microphone in the AKG Galaxy, the Aura, which in many ways is a light version, or better yet, a distillation of many of the elements that made the Lyra such a star. For starters, both microphones are built around a similar capsule technology. Lyra uses a four capsule adaptive array offering a choice of front, front and back, or tight and wide stereo options. Ara uses a single stacked dual capsule configuration with a choice of front or front and back recording options. This makes Ara handy for two-person recording scenarios with one person on each side of the mic. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Ara comes in a similar brushed nickel and dark matte blue finish as the Lyra. However, it features a slightly smaller body with a more rounded styling compared to the hard lines and Art Deco geometry of the Lyra. Similarly, Ara is a desktop-style microphone featuring an attached yoke. Nicely, its 3-inch base is easily detachable, allowing you to place the Ara on a traditional mic stand. The same can also be done with the Lyra, however, detaching its base is a little bit more fiddly. For connections, Ara has a USB-C socket and an 8-inch headphone jack. On the front of the mic, you will find a two-position pattern switch, as well as a dual-function headphone control with an LED-equipped push-button mic mute. Ara uses class-compliant drivers on both Mac and PC, as well as Android and iOS devices, making it dead simple to set up and start recording. While Ara offers direct real-time control over its zero latency headphone output, you must set your recording levels either in your device or your recording application. By contrast, the Lyra contains a dedicated gain knob. That and the stereo pattern options are really the only functional differences between the Ara and the Lyra other than the fact that the Lyra can record up to 192 kHz, whereas the Ara tops out at 96 kHz. Sonically, as you can hear, Ara has a clean, open, and detailed capture with a nice mid-range fullness and weight, which are the exact same words that I used when I reviewed the Lyra. Ara does well to reject plosives, which present as an occasional spitty blast of air rather than deep distorted thumps. If you do find plosives particularly problematic, as you've been hearing, Ara offers plenty of clean gain, so you can back off of the capsule quite a few inches, and the microphone still sounds excellent. The only real difference that I find between Ara and its sibling, other than the stereo width and options of the Lyra, is I actually find the proximity effect and its richness easier to achieve on the Ara thanks to its larger grill and the location of the capsules inside. Like most microphones, switching from front or cardioid mode to front and back or omni mode lessens the proximity effect and adds a touch of clarity. And of course, in this case, you can record equally on the front and the back of the microphone. While USB microphones are favored by podcasters, gamers, and for video conferencing, Ara also does well as a general purpose recording microphone, especially on acoustic guitar, where its proximity effect and clarity can be used to great effect. It's also really nice on percussion and, of course, vocals. To check out all three, we invited singer-songwriter Carrie DeQuisto over to the studio. Carrie's going to sing and play acoustic guitar for us while she's joined by percussionist Dave Wolf on Cajon. Let's give a listen. Saw you 
hit the ground But I thought that I was flying in the clouds My love, my love The space you filled it grew and grew and we knew Until you came to make it new As you can hear, beyond podcasting, broadcasting, and conferencing duties, ARA makes a great option for musicians as well. The cost difference between the ARA and Lyra is about $50, making either one an affordable USB option. The model you choose will come down to either intended use or even visual preference. Do you need a clear, dimensional stereo capture or a more focused, traditional mono mic? Each one offers a nice clear sound that should excel at any and all of your content creation needs. If you'd like to learn more about the AKG Ara or the AKG Lyra, stop by akg.com for more information. Also, be sure to check out my review of the Lyra in the April 2020 issue of Recording, as well as my recent review of the Ara in the December 2021 issue. I'd like to thank Carrie and Dave for stopping by and playing music for us today, and I'd like to thank you for checking out our video review. If you liked it, be sure to give us the thumbs up below, and better yet, subscribe to Recording's YouTube page for additional video reviews, product comparisons, how-to videos, and more. Then, stop by Recording's website, recordingmag.com, for the best in all things recording, where you can check out Recording's podcast, online articles, and better yet, subscribe to our print publication, which is now in its 35th year. We'll see you soon.